Welcome to this video session. In this session, we are going to discuss the force exerted on the stationary curved plate. That is case C, when Z strikes the curved plate at one end tangentially, when the plate is unsymmetrically. In the last session, we have discussed the case when the plate is symmetrical. let v is equal to velocity of z since we are dealing with your unsymmetrical plate the angle at the inlet tip of the curved plate and outlet tip will not be same so let us take here theta is equal to angle at inlet tip and phi is equal to angle at outlet tip consider the jet of water with a velocity v strikes this curved plate tangentially at one end making an angle theta with the horizontal. Let us resolve this velocity into two components that is v cos theta in the direction of jet and v sin theta in the direction perpendicular to the direction of jet. After striking the jet moves along the plate and it leaves the plate with a velocity v making angle phi with the horizontal we will re resolve this velocity into two component v sin phi acting in the upward direction that is direction perpendicular to the direction of z and v cos phi acting in the direction opposite to the direction of z so let us derive the equation for force exerted in the direction of z and in the direction perpendicular to the direction so here uh, we will assume that velocity will be same so this velocity and this velocity will be same since this cur curved plate is smooth we will assume that there will be no loss of energy when z of water moves along this curved plate so force exerted by jet of water in the direction of jet so that is fx is equal to mass per second into initial velocity minus final velocity so that is mass per second can be written as rho into a into v initial velocity is nothing but velocity before hitting the plate so let us see what is the velocity of jet before hitting the plate so that is in the direction of jet we can see that is nothing but v cos theta so we will substitute here as v cos theta put minus here let us see what is the final velocity that is after hitting or it is while leaving the plate so that is nothing but v cos phi that is in the direction opposite to the direction of z so we have to put it as minus v cos phi so i will substitute here minus v cos phi so we will take common so rho into a v is common here so we will, I will take v outside so v into v so that is nothing but v square and you can see here cos theta will write cos theta is remaining and minus of minus that will be plus and cos phi so this is nothing but equation for the force exerted in the direction of jet when plate is unsymmetrical so let us derive similarly equation for the force exerted by the jet in the direction perpendicular to the jet so that is we will take it as fy is equal to mass per second into initial velocity minus final velocity so mass per second will take it as rho into a into v so what is initial velocity nothing but velocity before hitting the plate let us see so that is nothing but perpendicular to the direction of z before hitting is nothing but v sin theta that is acting in the upward direction so i will put it as v into sin theta put minus here 
let us see what is the final velocity sin phi that is in the direction perpendicular to the direction of jet that is also acting in the perpendicular direction so we'll put it as v sin phi so we'll take here common so rho into a so v is common here so v into v is v square so what is left is sin theta minus sin phi so that is nothing but f y so f y is equal to rho a v square into sin theta minus sin phi is the equation for the force exerted by the jet in the direction perpendicular to the direction of jet when plate is unsymmetrical so we will deal with the next condition in the next session thank you